We need speed, baby. 210 to 20. Oh my god. We are not landing this. What's going on, everybody? It's Ward Slab Trade, and welcome back today, guys, to the channel Forza Horizon 3. Back with some more of the Hot Wheels DLC, man. Now, today we're going to continue on with our Let's Play with episode number two. I got to give a huge thank you to everybody that came through and showed support on our very first Hot Wheels video. It hit 190,000 views and hit 6,600 likes, man. Those numbers are absolutely huge. I want to give a big thank you to everybody for checking out the channel, man. We're not done yet, though. We have a lot of Hot Wheels content to come, so make sure you guys do follow the channel. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And today, we're going to be taking out the Bone Shaker. Now, I've already went ahead, fully built this thing up, man. We're talking 1,500 horsepower, all-wheel drive. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, man. We just unlocked a few new things around the maps. We're going to go ahead and explore because I haven't really seen the entire map yet. So I'm pretty excited for today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to keep seeing Forza Horizon 3 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Today, I did want to change it up for this Let's Play episode and bring out the controller. If you guys missed my last two videos on this DLC, we're actually online with the wheel cam. It was fun, man. I still have a lot of things that I want to do with the wheel cam, though, including, you know, some drifting around here. So make sure you guys do check back. And if there's anything that you guys want to see on the channel, make sure you guys do leave it in the comments section. Uh, but today, though, we are running our Elite Controller from Controller Chaos. All right, guys, here we go, man. Now, we're going to be going ahead and looking for our first event. We just hit 244 on that damn thing. Oh, my God, we are ripping. I would love to know in the comments section, what is your top speed on this DLC? Oh, don't get sucked in. Thank you. All right, we have Camber Carnage, man. First race up for today. Seems to be on the route. And if we see anything cool, we will definitely hit it before we continue. Really quickly, I just want to tune this car because I'm getting a lot of wheel spin and I'm getting a shit ton of understeer. So I definitely don't want to have to be fighting understeer the entire race. We're going to try to fix that up before we start this up here. I don't want to slam it too much, though, because I don't want it to just bottom out on these jumps. So we're going to do that. That should be good. Leave the differential as it stands. And uh, we are good to go. Now, of course, if we see anything of interest along the way, we'll be sure to hitting that up as well, too. You know, maybe a barn find or so. I've yet to get that damn Ford Deluxe Coupe, man. I want it. Uh, have we done that? I don't think we've done that, man. Hold on real quick. we got to get that damn bucket list. Excuse me real quick. Appreciate that. And I'd love to know everybody's thoughts down below. You know, how are you enjoying the Hot Wheels pack. Obviously, it's been now a few days. Conquer the Hyperloop in the Mini Cooper, man. Number one on the bucket list, but it was a stream that Turn 10 did the other day, and they were talking about the DLC, and they were saying that this is the DLC you didn't know you wanted, and it really is, man. I mean, this came right out of left field when we got this. Had no idea that we were getting a Hot Wheels expansion. Nonetheless, you know, a whole new map filled with just orange track, man. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest expansions to date that Turn 10 has done. And that's saying a lot, considering Blizzard Mountain was my favorite for a long time. I mean, they really killed Blizzard Mountain, but they definitely won up themselves, which I did not see happening. I just really did it, man. But they definitely killed it. And, you know, it, it really is the DLC I didn't know I wanted. I mean, after playing it and, you know, being here, I mean, this is a hell of a lot of fun and really brought back Forza for me. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I feel like I want to play the game more now. And, I mean, obviously, we had that dry spell for a little bit. We were waiting. And, you know, here we go, man. The Hot Wheels DLC. If you guys not picked this up yet, um, I don't know why you haven't. I really don't. 20 bucks, not too bad. It's $10 if you really think about it because you got Blizzard Mountain and the Hot Wheels for $10 each, or like $25, maybe $13, man, $13, we completed that shit, though, we got it, number one success, with the music in the background, did you hear that music, it was hyping me up a little bit, man. it's probably far in the background audio, but it was definitely there, the little damn orchestra symphony, playing as we were running the loop, everything, Hot Wheels campaign, total 15, next round in 10, okay, now you can actually earn those online just cruising around. I, I was, I think I earned like six or seven of them since I was on the game last. So that's pretty cool that you can earn them online with your buddies and such and then come back here and then, you know, you're pretty much good to go to, you know, upgrade your festival and such. 
Now, I did upgrade the Bone Shaker all-wheel drive, mainly because 1,500 horsepower, um, you know, just does not really suit the Bone Shaker well. It was just nothing but tire spin. We're still running 425s on the rear, man. 425s, and I still could not handle this thing. So, um, you know, I definitely wanted to at least all-wheel drive it, have a little bit more control, and I think it's going to be a great suit for this race, man. We need 15 drift or e-drift skills for this, and we need to win and finish to get three medals. Now, this is going to be hopefully my first win of uh, the Hot Wheels expansion, if we can at least use... Can I, can I use my car? Can I use the bone shaker? Is that possible? So you know how I told you the Hot Wheels people love to tinker? They also love Whoa. to share. I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing this, but what do you think, boss? Want to choose the stunts we use? You can just add in any stunt? Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to add in the loop-de-doop. Yep, set a stun one. And then I want this old nice damn S-Bend. This will be perfect for some drifts. Uh, that is really cool to see on the game. We can literally make our own Hot Wheels track. That's, that's pretty badass, man. Race settings. Can we do car selection? I don't think we can. For the first time, it has to be A-Class, which is very interesting because I was not expecting that. Uh, but, oh, we're going to change the cover car, though. Or is this how you change a cover car? Oh, damn, that's nice. Okay. Perfect. Create the blueprint. We're in the bone shaker, nonetheless. Hopefully, I don't think it's going to be our bone shaker. No, that's definitely not going to be. Okay, well, that's that's... We're going to use the rip rod then, man. That's not a problem. Car is below the minimum required class. Do you want to try upgrading it? Sure, man. Just upgrade my damn rip rod. Thank you. 17 grand. That'll be good to go for the day. Now, I did want to hit a comment from last episode. This is from Razor. He goes, might as well bring out a drift expansion for us drifters. And I feel like that's what Forza Horizon 3 is going to be. Because obviously, you know, Forza Horizon 2 played out to, you know, the open world, the Australians, the burnout scene. You know, it just makes sense to go to either Japan or anything like that for Forza Horizon 4. You know, I feel like they're definitely going to involve the drifting. And I feel like, you know, they're going to incorporate the drifting more than ever for the next installment of Horizon. I feel like it's just going to happen. There's too many people in the community that want to see it done. And, you know, when I was at E3, they were saying that there was four main places that the team wanted to go to right off the bat. You know, their master plan from the get-go. And, uh, you know, they said they have done three out of the four. So, obviously, you know, the last one that comes to mind would be Japan or Tokyo, right? I mean, that's just a logical guess if I'm trying to make one myself. So, I mean, I'm hoping that that is going to happen. Maybe get some Ebisu in for Forza Horizon 4. That would be crazy. And then transfer it over to Forza Motorsport. That's all I'm saying, man. It would be a good day. I'm still on professional, aren't I? Because this... Why are you slowing down? Excuse me. There's guardrails. You can bounce off them. Shit. Just kidding, I usually don't bounce off the guardrails. Not a lot. Sometimes I just lied. Okay, yeah, I do. I like to bounce on them sometimes. Yes, speed boost, baby. We have seven gears. I totally forgot about that. We have eight gears. What? A lot of people in the comment section, actually, from my first episode using this car were telling me, you know, Slap, you do have, uh, you know, eight gears. You do know that, right? But, to be fair, though, I only had seven gears on my shifter. So that kind of sucked, right? I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. They didn't think about, you know, Hot Wheels expansion, right? I mean, that's all. There is a way, though, to actually get... Oh, that bone shaker dipped! Okay, I'm, I'm literally boxed in right now. 50%. We're in sixth place, man. This is a battle. Remember, like I said, though, we're on pro drive at our difficulty. This is not an easy thing by any means. So I'm glad we at least upgraded our car a little bit. The dino... Come on. I really want to take this win for once. That'd be great to at least get one dub. Oh, shit. Yep, thank you. It's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. What am I supposed to do? I'm getting passed on the straights. Like, yeah, take care, guys. Have a great day. Look at that, yep, yeah, see ya. I, I can't do anything, man. How am I going to get speed on this? We're banking. That's all I can do. Never mind. Oh my god, I can almost win that. Second place? 
I could have won that. They slowed down quite a bit on there. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. We did get an achievement for some reason. Track builder. Oh, okay. So we made the track. We completed it. That's pretty cool. But looks like you can make some serious creations, though, in the track editor, which is really cool to see. Um, if you guys have any really cool tracks that you want me to trial for an episode, definitely leave that down in the comment section. We're going to get one star. Yeah, I already know this. Can we hit this in reverse? Oh! 120 in reverse. You seen that? God damn. Okay, so let's see what else we can do right here. We have a brand new half pipe danger sign up here. I'm going to try to get that. And uh, pretty much, we're just going to stay with getting everything else other than the races for today. Next episode, we're going to hit those A class races. We'll have a car fully built for there. But uh, we have a lot of speed zones. We have a few different, you know, hidden things around the map that we need to complete before we even get to the races. So I figured this would be perfect. And let's get to another comment for today. Now, this one's coming from George Scott. And he goes, This better not be like Blizzard Mountain Slap. We need Hot Wheels content, man. I see you, my dude. I definitely do. We'll definitely be doing a lot more Hot Wheels. The biggest thing, like I said, though, if you want to keep... What the... F if you guys do want to keep seeing the Hot Wheels content, don't forget to slap that like button. That is really the main deciding factors when I do series. I mean, if it gets a lot of likes, it means people want to see it. I mean, people are taking the time to like the episode, which means they got to want to see more, right? So make sure you guys do slap that like button. The first one did fantastic, so I'm sure there will be a lot of people that want to see it. But uh, I'm excited to do this with the wheel as well. So if you guys do want to see the wheel instead of the controller, let me know. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of they have turned it at. I mean, it gets hectic, but I'm definitely down for the challenge. Man. I definitely am. City Chase, Horizon Hot Wheels. That's not what I'm here for. Man. Nope, I'm here for, I think, that burning ring, man. You see that. We gotta go around up the damn mountain. I don't think I've been up here yet. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go up here. Okay, never mind. Are, can I get through here from here? Okay, you know what? I don't know, man. We're just gonna keep going. I just wanna fly off the track. We're okay, I think. Which way am I going? This way, yep. 1.2 miles, perfect corner. You just want to gas it, man. You, you, you see so much road and so much just orange track layout. They're like, I can make this. And then you just, you know, you get on the throttle and then you're like, oh, shit, right? I mean, it's so deceiving when you are driving. We are here. I don't know if we're coming in at the right spot. Half pipe me down. Thank you. This is it. We need speed, baby. 210 to 20. Oh my god. We are not landing this. What? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. We landed that. That was insane. Here we go. We're trying it again. We're going to maybe come on a little bit more of a right angle like this. Yep. That should be perfect. We should make this now, I think. Hopefully. See, I don't think we're going to make it because we keep landing like this. He is to go straight right off the jump. That's the biggest thing that we need to make sure that we're doing. And I'm sideways once again. Look at what? Why, man? Why am I sideways? I'm not making that. Oh. All right, let's try this. Hopefully, we can just make the damn jump, man. I don't know why we keep taking flight off of there. We have front and rear arrow, but it's still catching, man. Hopefully, come on. I'm moving my stick up, man. I feel like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto and I gotta bring it down. Look at that. It's not, it's not making it. We need to be a little bit more on the right. That is a tough jump. I feel like I should be taking it on the other side. I think that's my problem right now. I just kind of realized that. But uh, that's okay, man. We're gonna, we're gonna try it anyways like this. I think that's good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Guts down. Oh. Okay, never mind. Go. Okay, you know what? We're gonna take it from this side. We're gonna see what happens. 1500 horsepower, third gear burnout, no problem at all. Temp number, whatever this is, I don't know, man. Let's just make it. Oh, this, this has gotta be money on this one, man. This is the easy way around this. And we don't get over uh, 1100, man. Oh my god, we're gonna go right out. Yup! We just backflipped. How many we can land this over there? Oh my god, if I land this, this is going to be insane. Jump more than 500 feet on the Hot Wheels. We got that achievement. We missed the landing, unfortunately, but that would have been cool, is all I'm saying. That would have been pretty damn good. We have a uh, C-Splash Speed Trap 
along this way. So we're going to head on over to there. But, uh, you know, I really do enjoy the controller. That man just flew right over me. Oh, my goodness. I do enjoy the controller for the Hot Wheels. You know, I have been enjoying it. But I also enjoy the wheel. And I'm really happy that I have this Elite controller because uh, it does make everything easier, especially on the braking. If you guys don't know, I got mine from Controller Chaos. If you guys are in need of any controllers whatsoever, any system, they do custom paints as well as mods for first-person shooters and such. So if you guys are interested in any of those, you guys can use my discount code, SLAP on your next order and uh hit up controller chaos link down below just a shameless plug during the obvious expansion man i'm sorry but i had to do it though everybody be asking about my controllers 1.5 now let's get to another comment here while we are ripping it this one's coming from shadow slayer 760 and he goes you should play hot wheels world race now uh, that is definitely on my list, and I was actually thinking about doing that prior to the Hot Wheels expansion dropping and like going back and revisiting the old Hot Wheels games. Because obviously, I played a lot of them when I was a kid, man. It was a big thing that came out. You know, when you'd see a Hot Wheels game come out, you're like, oh, damn, this is going to be good. And they usually were. I mean, they, and, you know, I definitely miss playing those games, but I definitely do. So I may have to bring them back for another Do You Remember That series. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments section. Is this it? Shit, man. I'm going way, way too slow. What is that? I'm going on a Sunday drive right there. Oh, oh, crisscross crash. This is my first time seeing this right now. I don't think I've actually been here. That is pretty cool right now. I'm getting the feels, though. I had one of those when I was a kid. just bigger, and it was all orange. It wasn't blue. See, this is going to be a tough one because you need to come in there like... Right oh! Get out the way, my man. Oh, we got three on that. No way, man. That's so easy. Okay, well, at least we got that. Uh, next up is going to be the crisscross crash dash speed. No, it, it doesn't say crash. I'm sorry. I made that up. Crisscross dash speed zone. But it is called crisscross crash. That's why I said that. If anybody was watching, it's just they added a dash in just to be funny. That's all. Let me slide this in. Reverse entry. Oh! I thought I had that for a second. And there was another comment here from Nathan, and he was saying, I think it's funny how they think we can all afford new updates. And, you know, I definitely hear you. Growing up as a kid, I had no extra cash for games. I would usually rent everything. And, you know, I got to say, if I was growing up the same way as I am now in today's world, I would have no money because, you know, the updates, you, know, you get a season pass with the game, you're up with about $130. And I mean, you get a few games of, you know, a full year, that's a lot of money, man. I mean, I definitely did not have that much cash growing up. And, you know, obviously I was renting games more than often than not just to play them, beat them, and then take them back. Because, you know, growing up in today's world, man, money is so different now. And it's crazy to think about how much things cost from back in the day. It really is. And I mean, the money isn't going, up, you know, any higher than what it was. I mean, it's just... It's crazy. I definitely feel what you're saying. The best thing that I can recommend growing up, you know, maybe get a paper route. I, I actually did a paper route myself for like, how long did I do that for? Maybe about a year. Um, you know, I saved up and got my first PlayStation 2, right? So, I mean, I think it comes down to if you really want it, you know, you'll try to make it happen. You know, whether it be a job, you know, making some side money, trading in something. Uh, but, you know, I always made it work when I was a kid. Obviously, you know, now it's a little bit difficult because you're... You know, you're paying for shit almost every day of month. But, you know, I'm just saying, man, hold in there and just, you know, try to put aside cash for the games that you know are going to want DLC. Obviously, we know Forza, they do DLC every single year, season pass, and then now probably an expansion. So definitely look for that. Can we hold this? Just ram it off the wall? I doubt it. Come on, baby. Bone Shaker is nice, but once it gets going, though, it is way too quick. Come on! Oh, my God. I hope we got that third star. That was tough. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Let's go. That was hard, though, man. We need 20. Oh, earned a new. What? What card did we get? I want to know what car I got on that. Proceed to the next round. What? Oh shit! How about we let you loosen some S1 cars for these next tracks, oh, boss? That's not a choice, up. I'm afraid. The Hot Wheels people say you'll need the inertia. Wow! They just made my dream come true. We're gonna get to run 
our bone shaker for this next race fed s class we're gonna make this happen look at the drift zones everywhere have to bust out the twin mill for another episode and uh run some slides through those drift zones i think that'd be pretty damn fun uh s class right here man sky track attack let's get it all right here she is gonna go into a 360 that's a bad idea to start it okay thank you Whew, i wasn't sure if we we're gonna get that or not lap time faster than a 205 to get all three medals i think that's definitely gonna be possible uh what the hell is all these different ones here oh okay these are just horizon presents and uh we're gonna get to use our current class i mean it said s class it's an s2 my damn bone shaker's an s2 but i do think though that i have an s1 i think i have an s1 hot wheels i'm gonna hopefully where is it man where is it chrysler vh valent charger rte 49 now this just came out with the pack as well too. I was saving this to do a drift build, but I figured though we can at least run this in the race. I'm gonna drop down the drive guitar difficulty just cause the car is definitely not ready to compete properly. Obviously we are down uh, probably about 50 PI from probably the top rank. So if we can at least win one with this car for today, I'll be happy, man. I can't believe it, but you know, if you're running on a higher drive guitar difficulty, it is extremely difficult to win a race, especially starting in the pack of the pack. If you guys play on anything higher than pro, if you're on unbeatable, let me know how you're doing with the game and uh, let me know if you are a robot or not, because I don't know how the hell you're doing it, to be completely honest. Sky track attack. Let's go, man. Uh, we did have another comment here from Nick Moto, and he goes, Yo, Slop, the turbo pads have the exact same sound as a Nitrox boost from Highway 35. Also, it would be amazing if they did add Acceleracer cars. Now, the Nitrox boost is in Highway 35 in that movie that I was watching the other day. So I thought it would have been cool if they added that into the game somehow. I mean, obviously, we have the booster pads. That's cool. But it would have been nice if they, you know, they actually had a Nitrox boost meter. I think that would have been really damn clever. Probably couldn't do it because of copyrights. What is happening? Holy shit. What was that, man? You just let go, pretty much. No idea. Come on. Now, in terms of the acceleration, you know, it would have been cool to see some of the other you know, crazy creations of Hot Wheels to bring in for the game. Obviously, if you guys did watch Highway 35, there was so many other cars in there. They're just, you know, unique builds, like the wagons, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, Hot Wheels definitely was beyond crazy back in the day. I mean, we had shark cars and all that shit, but it would have been really cool to, you know, see some of those come into the game. I think we only got, like, what, three or four Hot Wheels in the expansion. Would have liked to see a full five, maybe even six. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, we have a lot to work with here with the track and all that stuff, too. So that's pretty cool, to say the least. But uh, we're going to have to uh, move up positions here because I'm in seventh, first lap. And we're getting sideways like crazy, man. Thankfully, this is not on the wheel. This would not be good. We're also using our Hot Wheels race compound. If you guys did not know, it was included in the expansion. It's a brand new tire compound. I didn't even know it was out until the other day, and I looked. I'm like, oh, shit, we have a new race tire, man. I have yet to test this against the actual race tires themselves or also rally tires on the actual Hot Wheels track. So if you guys have tested the different tires, let me know the difference in the feeling. Oh, what? Oh, shit, everybody just dives in on you, man. That is hectic. Oh, my God, the guy's gone. Are you all right? He's gone, man. Oh my goodness, that was the AI just dipped. We're in second place currently. No, third, sorry, I can't read. We're in third place currently, and uh, first place does not seem to be letting up. But we're just gonna try to just make these passes nice and smooth. Try not to lose any wheel spin as I just kick out the rear end. I didn't mean to, man. This thing's sloppy. Look at this! The understeer is so real. Once it gets a little bit of air, mixed with the water. This is not good, but I feel like this track is always wet. I don't know if it's just me or not, but everything's always wet in this damn expansion, man. Oh, these guys are done. I would have been too if there was no rail. This is tough, man. This is probably one of the hardest racing layouts to do. We're going to try a little bit of uh, first third-person cam. See if the control's a little bit better. Oh, shit. We're getting it a little bit. Oh! Nope. Got a little bit of speed, drift right up. Inside pass. The track is so touchy, man. You lose traction for a second, and you are done. Why is it looking so damn close to my bumper right now? I mean, yeah, I've seen the third-person close cams before, but I feel like this is a lot lower 
than what we've been used to. I mean, I don't know if that shows me or not. We're definitely not taking all first place, man. Look at first up there on the map. He is gone. Like, the AIs, man, they are ruthless. This expansion has probably been the hardest thing to win races on. I don't know if it's just me or not. Let me know if I'm the only one having issues, which will mean that I'm a shitty-ass driver, which I already knew I was. But, but we're not actually talking about that right now. I'm just seeing, are you guys having trouble with the AI? Look at the race boy trying to cut me off. It's not like I'm having enough issues. Come on, baby. Just six gear. Just landed this time properly. Look at the, why are you doing that, man? No! Oh. Oh, this first! Oh my god, we have a chance. We did have a chance. Oh no. We're gonna just finish the race once again, man. I cannot seem to get in the first. Uh, so that's definitely disappointing. And there's a brand new horn at the end of this round. That's gonna be pretty cool to see. But that is gonna pretty much do it for today. We took a look at the brand new Bone Shaker and Chrysler Charger. Obviously, uh, you know, this thing is not really meant for track racing. I built this thing to drift, and uh, that's what it's going to be intended to for another episode. But it was pretty cool just seeing it with another few cars racing. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Let me know your thoughts so far of the Hot Wheels expansion, and I'll see you guys back for a double upload of Hot Wheels for today, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy, Slab Trade. I'm out. Peace.